Alright there, procrastinauts, my name's my boy, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Last time we were here, we did Kabalo 1, the last mission that will set us up for our manned mission Vostok 1. It was pretty exciting, we got in orbit around the sun with a new type of probe, I had a little bitch about the ion engines. It was all good fun. Today though, we are getting in. Jebediah Kerman. At least I believe it'll be Jebediah Kerman. You know I say this and uh, I don't even know if it will be Jebediah Kerman. But first off, let me load up the rocket for today's mission. Where are you? Vostok 1. I probably should mention as well, I apologise for the noise in advance because A, I've got my fan on and my window wide open and there are people outside everywhere. It's roasting outside today. We are having some of the best weather we've had in a very long time. So, apologies for the background noise and whatnot, but screw you. It's too hot to sit in here with my window closed. Oh man, really, really badly. But yeah, anyway, I digress. This is the Vostok rocket that we're going to be using today for our manned mission. It comes with all the little tweakables and nobbles and buttons and bits and lights and beepers and boopers and stuff. You get the, the general idea. Where are we today? Vostok 1. This is a little bit different from any other mission that we've attempted so far. Now, the problem with this is that every time we send a Kerbal out, we then have the problem of... Oh, hang on, hang on a second. Kerbals cost money to insure. Basically, you get that money back at the end of it or after the mission's complete but for initial cost you have to pay I believe I've got it to 20 grand at the moment for a Kerbal life which doesn't really sound a lot all things considering however at this point in the space program we don't have no trained astronauts and Jebediah is basically someone we just found at the side of the space and are just looking through the bars one day and we're like hey you do you want a job come on in and poor bass has been shot inside this pod and getting ready to be sent up into space it should be fun. You should enjoy this shit. But without further ado, let's go ahead and launch this stuff. I've got some stuff planned for today's launch as well. Nothing fancy like a uh, cinematic or anything. But there was some stuff I want to talk about. I'm going to just thrust up and get the sass on and launch as per. Yes. Now, some pictures. I have some more pictures on the new version of KSP 0.21. And also there may be some sort of exclusive coming with this at some point in the future. But it's not just yet. I can't talk much about it. But yes. Check these first two pictures out. These are the renders of the new um, VAB and SPH. Now I know I showed off the, t the roof of the SPH in a video not too long ago, but these images are far more detailed and you can, you can see that there's a lot going on inside the VAB and the SPH these days. They've both been designed by Bat9, the guy who brought us the B9 aerospace pack. And, quite frankly, I really like the look of both of these. The VAB more so than the, uh, the SPH. I'm not too big of a fan of the yellow lines all over the floor. But, the VAB looks like it's been constructed out of parts that already exist in KSP that we can build our rockets out of. Apart from that little truck in the corner that I'm circling right now, yeah. That one. Interesting indeed. I want that as a part added to stock. I've asked the powers that be to see if that can be added to the game as a single part. What the fuck did our engine just, like, make a weird explosion? Now, that was strange. I didn't expect that. Something just happened to our rocket. I don't know what happened. But, yeah, anyway. Um, the next images that I'm going to show up, anyway, are images to show what they actually look like in-game once they're actually fully implemented and stuff. And, as you can see, they don't look any different than what we were just looking at. Now, the most important thing to know is look outside the SPH. I can't see the runway or the path leading to the runway, which leads me to believe that the uh, new space center is completely different to the one that we're used to seeing now. I still don't know this to be sure, but I'm pretty damn sure we'll be finding out in at least a few weeks. About give, give it a few weeks and I reckon all the testing will be done and it'll be ready to be having a look into and it's going to be really good fun to get your teeth sank into it. To be fair, I, I still don't know what the entire changelog is for the next update. I imagine it's something pretty impressive. I hope it's something pretty damn impressive. Otherwise, it's going to make me cry. But I still love the update all the same. It's good times, good times, man. Alright, we're getting up to 1,200. I'm going to save a little bit of fuel in my rocket for deceleration, just like the Falcon would. Right, okay, right, there we are. That'll do. So... Let's eject this stage and get this thing lined up to get some more thrust and go! Let's hope that this thing can stay in one position, which it doesn't look like it wants to do. I, I don't understand why things don't fly so level, rockets and, and such. Let's uh, 
First up, see if we can do any any magic here. Uh, I would say that we're getting close to the point of uh, getting right up there now. What's our height at the moment? Right, if I can build that up to 125, you know the usual type it takes us to get around there and whatnot. So 91. That seems to be a good, uh, a good amount of distance for me to actually recover the other section now. Switch to. This is going to be hard. I'm going to say hard, to, uh, to say the least, because this has a little bit of fuel in it. So my initial plan here now is to drain this of all fuel to slow ourselves down and use it to like angle ourselves and whatnot as well. Drain it all. Drain it all indeed. That should slow us right down and like obviously not cause any problems during the descent down or at least I hope anyway let's take this down a little bit and see what happens at surface right we're under like a certain di uh, certain speed there so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and open up the parachutes as quick as I can and hopefully at some point these should pop out I don't know when they are destined to fly out Right, there we are. See, we've recovered this again now. Yay, that's good times. That's good times indeed. And we've got plenty of time before Vostok 1 reaches its apoapsis and burn point. Can't be bad, man. Can't be bad. Let's take this down and recover this. This is some extra cost in our pocket. I wonder how much... Shit, I didn't even check how much this rocket cost, to tell you the truth. Uh, let's see. We were 289, I think we were. 234. So, yeah, it's, it's not cost us that much. The rocket hasn't cost us in excess of the amount that... Um, we've spent so far and don't forget we get 20 grand back if we can bring Jebediah back alive <laughs> which is always a bonus I suppose alright come on take it down safe down to 500 and boom oh shit our engine fell off that's not cool that's not cool at all I've never seen that happen before how weird and bizarre I wonder why that happened very strange strange indeed there man Ah, strange. Your punishment must be more severe, etc., etc. Right, come on, man. We haven't got all day. We need to get back up to the bloody thing and I need to recover this. I wonder how much this is actually worth now with the uh, missing engine. I mean, I imagine it's the tanks that cost the most. It always seems to be the tanks that cost the most. Even regardless of whether there's fuel in them or not. 40, 30, 20. Okay, there we go. Just be ready to recover this ASAP. Right, okay. Ah, oh, four grand. Okay, right, so, tracking station. Let's go back out to good old Vostok 1, which is now coming up to its apoapsis slowly but surely. Once again, on the dark side of the goddamn planet. I hate being on the dark side of the planet. You can't see a fucking thing that's going on. All right, here we go. So, let's get down to the prograde. You know what, I want to throw that on as well. The sensitive steering. And we're going to get ourselves into a nice little orbit. So this should, in theory now, be a nice little, little equilateral orbit. So 132 by 124. It's not bad. It'll do, I suppose. Uh, high finish goal. So the next part of the course is to get ourselves landed back down. And although technically it's not part of the uh, the mission profile, I'm going to do a little EVA as well just before we head back down. Right, here we are. This looks like a good place to start doing the, the retro burn, the braking burn, aero capture burn, or whatever the hell we call this thing. Okay, let's see if we can bring it down to... Oh, no. I'll do some adjustments before we do this. Right, okay. So that should take us close to the space center, ready for recovery. I hope anyway. And we do have a heat shield attached to this as well, so that's always good. Right, on the re on the re-entry, we need to send as much data as we can back down to find out how dangerous this is to Kerbals. That's always an important factor. You've got to find out how important, how deadly these things are. EVA. Oh, oh, Jeb, calm down, man. There's no need to get all angry about it. Jesus, man, you came out there with vengeance, man. Definitely. So yeah, here we are. Let's get some lights on, and we can actually see our pod in all its glory. Yes, fun times, fun times ahead for Jebediah in the space program. Let's get on here. Alright, so, 
there's only one thing we can do now, and that's speed up time until we get to our little point of entry. So, question is, are we going to make it to the Space Center? It's a very good question indeed, I have no idea. Given the fact that we are currently at this kind of altitude here, Alright, I don't think we are going to, so one of the things I'm going to do now is I'm going to... I don't know what, what, what direction this is, it's not normal anti-normal, it's something else. Okay, there we are. That, that should do us. That should do us. Hopefully I can do the same thing as what I have been doing. Or, at least, or the other bit, thing that I was trying to do, like slow myself down for the breaking burn. And then eject the stage as and when we need it. Four times speed. Let's see if we can hold this here. Optical speed's quite high. But it's all a case of landing next to that uh, space center for me, if I can do it. It's going to be the one. Trick is that I need to start working out how this is gonna react. I really, I really don't know where it's uh, where it's gonna put us to land at all. all. Right, and we're also getting some sort of like weird tipping motion. Now, if we're starting to get down to that tough part of the atmosphere before, oh god, no, no, we're starting to, yeah, we're starting to really hurt here. So I think what I'll do is I'll uh, go to north, eject and we will then retreat with our pods and then we'll get it to hold there. Bye bye fuel tank, you served the Vostok mission well. Now let's see how well this holds up, the heat shield. Hmm, interesting indeed. Now it seems that we're in that big ocean between here and the space center so hopefully this shouldn't be that bad. Keep it nice and low, hopefully we won't be taking too much damage. Let's get this out and see what temperatures the pod will soar up to. Hopefully poor Jebediah won't cook to a bloody crisp inside. Right, okay, here we go. Aha, so it's working. How hot's the uh, heat shield getting? Doesn't really seem to be taking that much of a beating, but we are still quite high up yet. Hmm, I can hear crying kids outside, that's not cool is it? How are we doing for heat? Okay, so now we're starting to really pick up the pace with the heat shield. Oh wow. At some point I will decouple this, so hopefully we can get our speed right down here. Do -do 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 -do. Poor old Jebediah, how's it looking inside mate? You can see the fire coming through the inside. Turn to open. Probably shouldn't really. <laughs> Wouldn't be good. How are we doing on our ablative shield sh heat shielding? Oh man, we are starting to hit some uh, some serious atmospheres here. And the ablative heat shielding is going down. I don't know if we're going to make this. Where's the speed droppage? We're still high in orbit, man. Oh, the ablative shield shield's going down. Oh man, how, how 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 high is this gonna go? <sighs> oh, I think we've done it. I think we've actually done it, ladies and gents. That, that was that was grim. That was that could have all gone horribly wrong, and that wouldn't have been good. But yeah, I, we haven't landed in a C position, which I was hoping for. But never mind, eh? Right, surface speed. Give me a surface speed. Right, are we on we're well, under eight hundred. Actually, you know what, let's get under 400 for this one because this is a bit more of a bad one. Look at those Mac effects, man, they look incredibly strange. Look incredibly strange indeed. Alright, we're getting some serious drop in height, so under 500 I think we're going to go for. Yes, there we go. And there goes the heat shield, I didn't expect that to pop off the way it did. Crazy. Oh well, so there goes our first manned mission. Now this should be one normal landing with Jebediah able to set foot back on the green green surface of Kerbin, which is another success. Can't be bad, can't be bad at all. Shame about the engine on that other, other piece of rocket. Very much of a shame indeed. Come on man, open the parachute whenever you please. Don't kill me, whatever you do. Ah, that's perfect. It didn't kill me uh, as expected. So, all I've got to do now is just slowly simmer to the floor and get ready with this goal. And this should also give us 20k back as well for our troubles. Excellent, Snake. 
All right, there we go. Boom, Booker, we've done the first man mission in orbit around the the planet. We did one circuit, we did one circular orbit, and then we landed. Let's recover this and end the mission. Finish the mission. Recycle and then fly. And there's our twenty grand that we got for paying out for what's it called. So we get two grand for the pod. That's not so bad. I guess it's a pricey piece of kit. And we've also got a lot of cash now. That's good times. Recycle and end flight. Vehicle assembly building. So as per usual, let's have a quick looky loo at what we've got on offer for the next mission. So I think there's only one. There can only be one. Let's see, Vosot 2. Our first of all flight, we need to explore the effects of long-term space flights on Kerbin. I'll stay at least six hours in an orbit or fly around Kerbin. Easily done. 100k for that. I can use exactly the same craft as I has, have been doing. Uh, mission goal. Ooh, we've got an EVA goal on this one. We've got to have a go on walking around outside like we already did in this mission. We may as well have just done that now, in all fairness. Vostok 1 was just as good as Vostok 2. So let's see, Vostok 3 if we want it. Ooh, a rendezvous mission. To bring two man probes into orbit and dock them, we suggest a circular orbit. Well, you wouldn't suggest a square orbit now, would you? Jesus Christ. So, Juna 1 and Juna 2. Hmm. Not available until Apollo 2 has been done. That's going to cost us some extreme cash, that is. Some extreme cash. And we're not going to be able to even recover all of the rocket. Simply because, well... It's massive, and the bottom stage burnt up last time I tried to use a massive rocket for anything. Never mind. Also, yeah, I did get the message about I didn't mention see this here. Oh, oh, you get 500 credits over 150 days, so that works at like 85 grand. The, the like a good cash cow, apparently. I, I don't know. I didn't realise this. I was too busy like seeing this and was like, what? 10 grand? Scandalous. But never mind. Um, I have to work out what mission to do next. Uh, there may be a little bit of a break in between episodes over the next couple of days. Do not fret, I'm still recording stuff, but I may have something even better on the cards for you. So, if you like this episode, leave a like, people. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in a bit, people. Peace out.